Welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco. Whoa. So, guys, we're in this war of wars where we're just kind of just fighting it because we can. We're sending a 57 death stack to go destroy whatever pathetic army the Serbians want to try to amass to try to fight me. But it really won't work because I already have a great commander. And look at that. Just pure destruction. Wasn't even, like, even applicable that these guys could have lived. And with that, that basically crushed almost all their hopes for... You know, well, I was gonna basically crush all their hopes. Like, they're not gonna be able to do anything for a very long time. Like, anything. And then over here with the Mamelukes, we've almost completely finished up our goal. They're getting, they're very warmed up to the idea of what we want. In fact, I want, if I could, ooh, I just, I wish I could take this land right here. I wish I could just take one province, and then I'd be happy. That's all I want. Just one more province. Just one more province. Ah. Ah, oh, man. This, this would be so nice if I could take it, but I don't think they're going to let me. Like, honestly, I don't think they're going to let me. But I think... We'll see. We'll see. I'll finish up the last siege and see if they'll let me go over just a little bit. Just a teensy, weensy bit. Yes? They'll let me go over? No. Okay, well, then that's it, everyone. We finished up this war. Hallelujah. We gained absolutely nothing out of this war in terms of land-wise. But we gained something even more important, which is the ability to now declare war on the Ethiopians. Ooh, poor Ethiopia. And then we still got an army down here, which I still don't really, like... I still haven't really paid attention to this entire time. And we got all of our good new trade fleets. Well, not trade fleets. We have our new galleys grouping up here soon where it's going to be the ultimate attack fleet I mean this is going to be like the the attack fleet that no one else wants to mess with I'm gonna be honest with you once we're done I mean we're the scourge of the Mediterranean once our ships come it's just like boom dead all right and look at this we've already gotten Serbia mostly sieged up I mean we just had to send in one army to defeat their entire nation one army and my, fun, and my funny thinking is, you guys really think you guys could probably deal with me on a personal by personal basis? And, by the way, is there anything I want from you guys? Because I'm pretty sure I can actually negotiate with them. No, I can't. I can only negotiate with the head leader. Dang it. Okay, so I can't negotiate with them separately. I thought I could. Apparently I can't. Anyways, we crushed their army. And now they're completely sieged up and they're basically useless. <laughs> Uh, but next up, I'm probably going to have to fight the uh, good old friends of mine, Aragon. Let me just see. Is there anything I want from them? Is there anything I could take from them that I'd really want? Well, they wouldn't become my vassal, but transfer trade power. You know what? That would actually be a reasonable goal right there. And look at my attack fleet. 53 heavies right there. <laughs> Oh, we could build some light galleons too, but I think they're kind of useless. So, and right now, Mecca is like receiving major opponents from Oman. You know, I honestly could stop this. Like, I honestly could do something about this, but it's not like I really need to because I'm going to declare war on Oman here soon. Iraq and Persia. Let's go send you guys back and let me start seeing the diplomatic interests that are right now in the Middle East. You guys have. Yeah, because I want to make sure that when I declare war in Ethiopia, yeah, I mean, I can't, because Ethiopia has been a gold mine for a very long time, and now that I finally have the opportunity, it's finally time to go declare war. Um, Adal, did you guys already get, oh good, I was about to say, if you guys already got, like, taken over by someone, I was going to be, I was going to be flipping, like seriously, that would have been way too quick, so, yeah. Anyways, after this is all done, I think I'm going to go send this massive army to go attack our good friends of Aragon. And by the way, while I'm thinking of it, let's see. How much more do we have until we go to our force limit in a couple places? Well, in terms of manpower, we are almost at our force limit, which is scary to think about. But in terms of everything else, we are still not... E in terms of our navy, we're still not even close, so... Um... Why was I bringing that up? Because, well... I wanted to build a new gigantic fleet and I wanted to make sure I had enough money for it. So, yeah. Let's see. 
Let's start building it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I should probably stop counting because it's keeping count right there. No, it isn't because there's an extra galleon, so. So I have to go to 30. Yeah. Probably could go to 50, actually. Could I? Yeah, I could probably go to 50. Wow, I. I'm amazed at how much I can build right now. Like, seriously. I'm just building so much. So yeah, we'll build 50 trade ships, and from there what I'll do is, I'll casually, you know, we should probably build like 75. I don't even have enough money for that. I keep looking at my money like thinking, do I even have enough money for all this? And my answer is yes, so let's just keep building. I'm going to like, I think I'm going to build 75 and then casually distribute all 25 to like reasonable sectors, so that they all like do something. I don't want to just have like 68, 69. Let's get build the rest right here. Four. There we go. So, wait, wait, 76. Because that's one extra galley. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I have such a big. Right now, right now you could say Morocco is in such a like rebuilding rebuilding phase, but we are just like casually destroying thousands of people right now. We are. We are a big threat to the world. Like, I won't even deny you. We are an insanely big threat to the world. We are the biggest, like, bullies in the world, and we know it. And we will casually destroy millions of people without a second thought. Let's see, is this a good balance on me? Yeah, kind of iffy. Let's see. Is this a good balance on me? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a good balance on me? It's pretty good. Yeah, so... Anyways, this is becoming a great campaign. That's all I'm gonna say. Just look at this. Uh, and then this army right here is probably gonna be our leading drive to go into Ethiopia with. Because as we all know, we can't actually conquer Ethiopia, which kind of stinks. I mean, I wish we could, but we can't. So, yeah, that's kind of good. And in terms of all of our friends, all of our friends love us. Wait, you're not my friend yet. So I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Let me see, how's our diplomatic relations? Oh, for some reason you guys cut us off. Why? Why do people keep cutting us off in terms of alliances? It's not even like I call you guys into my wars. Like, seriously. I kind of just omit you guys and just say, well, I don't really need you guys. Uh, I'm a, I feel like I'm, pow I'm, I'm at the point right now where I'm like so powerful that no one can really challenge me in Europe at all. I know, I know that sounds really bad, but I think I'm at that point in the game. Uh, slaves! Yay! You guys almost caught me there. You guys almost caught me saying yay for that, but still, I resist. Okay, and let me see, by the way. Are we, like, how technologically we advanced? So, France is usually, like, ahead. So, 22, 23, 22. 21, 21, 21, 22. We are so close. Oh, man, we are getting to the point where I'm getting so happy. This was so close. Alliance with Sweden. Yay. You guys wanted it first this time. Good job, Sweden. You guys learned your lesson. You guys should be my alliance friends because we have the most powerful army and the most powerful navy in the world. And you really don't want to make us mad. Like, you really don't want to make us mad. We will probably destroy you if you make us mad. Ah, the sieges are over or getting over with. There's not much real concern. Okay, probably should have at least one army set to go hunt. Yeah, just one army go hunt. And yeah, this is the entire war effort right now. I mean, the, the, the entire Bosnia, the, the Serbians basically got crushed. They basically had no army to fight me with, so they got crushed. And now we have another one of our good, we have a claim on Ethiopia, but... That's not exactly the most important thing in the world. Right now, we really do have a, uh, you know, kind of war screen right now against our good friends of Aragon, who I'm hoping by now are assuming that they're not. Take Zeta. Oh, you're the war. Wait, did I take over as a war leader? No. I'm a junior partner in this war, so yeah. You guys are just looking to take over Zeta. Well. I'm pretty sure you have more than just Zeta right now. 
Like, okay, I'm going to like casually distribute my my forces now. So, oh wait, stop, stop, stop for a second. Okay, casually distribute my forces around here because I think I killed off a lot of them when they were just like taking massive nutrition in my land. But yeah, if the Hungarian if the Hungarians want Zeta, that's fine with me. I don't really care that much if I must be honest with you. I mean, it's there we go. Fine, so they got out of the war. Uh, accumulation, yay, we got more of a colony. Huzzah! Okay, time to move in more. I'm just gonna sit right here, actually, because this colony's been waiting for a long time. Gonna move my soldiers over here. And yeah, look at that, it's so filling in so much quicker. Oh man, so good. It, it feels so good to have that. And you guys over here, you guys are still 200% happy with us. And how's our militaristic tradition going? <gasps> okay, 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 okay. This is like the best we've ever had mil army tradition. I have to test out to see how good of a commander we can get. Please. Eh. He's kind of okay. Well, okay, before I get rid of him completely, let me just try one more time. Hmm. Not exactly better. Well, at least we tried. And I know I used up some of my militaristic points I was using for that. But I just wanted to see if we could get a better commander. I just really wanted the opportunity to see if we could get a better commander. But apparently it did not work out. And... Yeah. Things don't work out like that, man. Things don't work out. Okay, let me combine these two units. Got my two Fezians. Let's see, what are these called? They're called the Feds and the Moles Bull ships. And where are my ships right now, actually? That's a good question. Uh, where is my navy? Okay, no, no, no. There we go. They're, oh, they're right over here, just kind of patrolling on their own. Good, good navy. Good navy. Go destroy, yeah, go destroy those ships. Okay, let's go get some more army tradition. Now I have an option of getting another idea group, but I actually won't get that yet because I, I still haven't finished some of my other idea groups. Gain some prestige. Hungary has, has now been out of the war. Really, it's just, it's just our friends, the, um, Argonians, who are wanting to be stubborn and stay in this war. I, I mean, they're gonna be seeds down by Tux Tuscany here soon, but, yeah, it's, it's really their stupidity that we're staying in this war. Hey, guys, I know you guys love sieging, but please go back to here, because I have to combine you guys with a couple more men. Oh, yeah, this destroyed some more soldiers. Oh, gosh. My men, like, my men, guys. That's my men. Okay. Combine. There we go. Let's go block up whatever, whatever support they were going to try to build up for their pathetic navy. Yeah. If you fight me, guys, you have to make sure you have one of the best navies in the world. Because I will crush you. Not, not even, like, jokingly crush you. I will crush you. Portugal has declared war on the enemies of Amar. Hmm. Must be like a little vassal state in India. Okay, and let's see, we're just casually sieging up their land. We could probably just divide, just, you know, just divide up the men. I mean, this is not really, this is not really, we have to really pay attention, because they won't honestly build enough ships to fight all my, sh my heavies, no matter how much they build. There we go. Blockade should give a lot, because that's 100%, 71%? Oh yeah, they still got all this land over here. Well, that's all sieged up. The only land we'd really... No, that's also sieged up, too. So, yeah, even if... I don't even have to really care about this land over here. Because most of the most important land is sieged up. So, yeah. This is going to be over really soon. Like, insanely soon. Like, to the point of almost no return. This is going to be over soon. Uh, let's see. Do I, do I like where my armies are right now? Uh, we got one, two, three. Three armies right now in... Cons Constantinople. Let's like put them actually in Constantinople so I don't like feel weird about it. You actually should probably go group up with these guys and we're just going to like make a massive army and then like go distribute them out evenly because that's a really weird army. I don't know how the calculations came up with that actually. Oi. Let's get this all combined. There we go. Combine, decombine. And yeah, that looks like that looks like a more proper army. So yeah, keep. I think we should probably keep one army over here. Um, 
We should probably go send an army somewhere over here, so that way we have some protection over here. Uh, let's go see. Keep keep sending all of our ships down, so we can make this massive trade fleet that I'm envisioning. And there we go. The war is over, everyone. And guess who won? Me. Ha. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, with that, we've officially defeated another foe, or another one bites the dust, in other words, and, oh my goodness, that was a great war right there. <laughs> they didn't even, they didn't even stand a chance, oh my goodness, so, by the way, I think I'm, I'm going to take economics ideas, by the way, because, like, if I can quickly get down this, this would also be good, but I'm not actually gonna, I'm actually gonna tech down this until I've, like, Finished up a l at least until I get to here because I really do want this right here. This 10% reduction stuff really would help. Plus, then I could probably change my government. Wait, can I change my government? I'm just modern. Oh, I can. Ooh, do I want any of these right now? Illegitimous. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna look at these yet. Okay, but do this. I don't really care if ships cost a little bit more. I have such good ship modifiers; it doesn't even matter. Oh my goodness, look at that. And then, military complacency, a superior, a superiorly drilled army is the opinion of the most influential generals invincible. That sounds really good, but I'm gonna, no, dang it. I didn't want to get more technological costs, but, uh, seems like that had to be done. Uh, but, let's just gain it back up instantly, and, yeah, look at that, guys. Ah, oh, man, I feel... I feel like we just like gained so much out of this war and you know what's funny guys is that we're still not done it's still oh oh hedges what did you do you allied with the devil oh and I can't declare one of them yet so never mind you guys didn't ally with the devil yet but on the same note I think it's about time for an Omanian invasion so let's see Taking down Persia will not be that hard. Mm. Taking down Persia. Hmm. So, Persia and Iraq would join in. Persia has a force of how much right now? I know, I know it's considerably less than me, but I just need to know, like, how much does Persia have at this point in the game? Hmm. Persia has approximately 64 troops. Mm. So if I were to send about uh, this much army over there, plus my good commander, let's go see where is he right now. Probably sent him somewhere over here, and he's probably one of these guys. Oh wait, no, 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 he's a guy over here. Yeah, I didn't forget about you. Okay, no leader. Go keep him over here. And then once the war starts, I instantly destroy this stack, and then, you know, just destroy the Iraqians. Or I could go after you guys, who are allied with the Mamelukes. And honestly, just make you guys my new puppet. Then use you guys to, uh... Uh, no, you guys have, like, absolutely no cores. Well, actually... Do you guys have uh, lots of cores that I could use? Hmm... It's, man, it's just so hard to break up, like, these guys, because, like, they have, like, no... The only cores I can actually see are from Kulishtan. They're the only... They're the only ones, and they're going to be hard to break out. Ah. I could attack you guys. Would you guys accept being vassalized? Oh, you guys would be. But you guys have differences of opinions with us. So maybe not. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a little bit hard, guys, deciding how I'm gonna tackle this entire, you know, web of alliances. I mean, honestly, this would be probably the quickest way. Let's just let's just do this while we're just kind of thinking about it, because this one's just kind of straightforward and easy. I mean, there really is no thinking about this one. Just go in, go take over the, uh, go take over these guys. It'll be good. But I mean, this is, huh? This is really kind of a conundrum. How am I going to conquer all of Africa before the time is up? Hmm. Such a, such a, like, confusing and, like, uh, 
not. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. All right, guys. I have to go now. It's that time again. I'm sorry. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will finish this episode once I'm done with all of this uh, carpet siege. Because I want to make sure, just in case, if I don't come back, that I have all of this carpet siege done. Improvements in government spend no expense. Okay. Oh, oh, they might actually. No, no. Wow, that was a devastating defeat. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.